I finished the C47 Skymaster a few minutes ago, and this build is in honor and remembrance and appreciation of the brave Allied troops who participated in the D-Day invasion June 6th, 1944, 80 years ago in two days. The anniversary's coming up, and that was the impetus for this group build. The C-47 Skymaster is by Airfix. The British Airborne troops are from a small company, WW-72. Deploying by air to attack key positions behind the forward line of German coastal defenses, airborne troops had a key role in the D-Day plan. The 8,500 British and Canadian soldiers of the 6th Airborne Division were tasked to secure the eastern flank of the invasion, with the U.S. 82nd and 101st Airborne Divisions holding the western flank. The first troops to land on D-Day were D Company, 2nd Airborne Battalion, Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire Light Infantry, who swooped in at 15 minutes past midnight in six horse gliders to seize the Conn Canal and River Orne bridges. Described as one of the most outstanding flying achievements of the war, the bridges are now called Pegasus and Horsa Bridge in tribute to the troops' bravery. Over the following hours, 3rd and 5th Parachute Brigades parachuted into Normandy. Despite scattered drops caused by bad navigation and weather, the airborne troops were able to achieve all their objectives and cause significant confusion and distraction to the Germans. The division's actions forestalled German counterattacks in the early hours of the invasion, when the Allies' foothold on the beaches was at its most vulnerable. Throughout, the first link-up with troops from the beaches happened at Pegasus Bridge just after 1.30 p.m., and the division was reinforced with the arrival of the 6th Air Landing Brigade by glider on the night of June 6th. Throughout June and July, the Airborne Division was engaged in intense fighting to hold the eastern flank. The 6th Airborne Division was withdrawn from the battle on the 27th of August, having spent 82 days in the thick of fighting. Since landing on June 6th, the division had suffered 4,457 casualties, of which 821 were killed, 2,709 wounded, and 927 missing. That's a casualty rate, overall casualty rate, of over 50%. So we honor these brave men, and this is my little contribution to the group build project. I'll be sending some still photos uh, to Charlie Mack in the next 24 hours.